Welcome to part four of our Fundamentals of Excel 2010 course. In our last video, we saw the difference between relative and absolute references. And we also saw in a preceding video how to put the total in. In this video, we're going to see how to put the average in. Now in this case, I'm going to want the average to go right below here so I can see the average sale for each month. Now there isn't very much room here between rows 8 and 9, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually highlight these two cells, and I'm going to right click, and then select Cut. Whenever you cut or copy cells in Excel, you're going to see a flashing line appears around them. I'm then going to go ahead and click on the cell right down below here, and now I'm going to go ahead and go to edit, or, and paste that value in you'll see it moves that cell. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in average and I need to put a calculation in that's going to find the average values for each one of my cells. The function name that I'm going to use is going to be equals and then average and then I open a parentheses. And just like with the sum function you need to put in the range of cells that you wish the function to perform its operation on. In this case, I'm telling Excel I want to average something, and now in the range, I need to put in B4 to B6, or the cells that I wish to average. I'll close my parentheses and hit Enter, and you'll see the corresponding value. I could have typed that in manually. I could have typed in equals, and then a parentheses, and then C4 plus oops, C4 plus C5 plus C6, then close my parentheses, a dividing line, and then the number 3. And that would also give me the average. But again, that's only really useful because I've only got a few cells that I'm adding up. I'm going to go ahead and delete that now, and I'll use autofill to fill this over. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and drag this two cells over and you'll see I get the average sales. And again, I'll double click on that and you will see that the references, because they were relative, updated themselves.